Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to move and delete your files in the terminal. To get started, we are going to open our terminal. And today is going to be about moving files. And so usually when you want to move a file, you just kind of go to your finder and click and drag whatever files you want into their appropriate folders. But there's actually a faster way to do this from the terminal. But to practice moving things from the terminal, we have to actually create the files first. And so to do this, we can use Vim or Nano, and we're just going to be creating easy text files to move around. And so in this case, I'm going to use Nano. And then we type the name of the file we want to create. So in this case, we'll do test0.txt. And this will open up the editor. We'll just say, this is a file I'm moving in the terminal. And then we can write this out by doing control O, hit enter, then control X to get out of there. And then we can actually create another file just for fun. So we have a couple to move around and call it test1. Hit enter, just write, this is another file I'm moving, do control O, enter, control X, and now we have both of our files right here created, ready for us to move. So how do we move the file? Well, usually you do MV, which is the keyword, then the source, what are you moving, and then you put the location, the destination of where you want it to go. So in this case, I'm going to move test0 to the desktop. So how do we do this? We do MV test0.txt, and then desktop. Hit enter, do ls, and now test0 is gone. As you can see, only test1 is here, and up here we have test0. So let's move test1 as well. Do move test1.txt to the desktop, hit enter, and now it is here as well. So we'll do cd desktop. We'll be in there. Let's clear this up by doing command K or clear, which is the keyword for clear. Do LS and there they both are. Now let's say we want to rename a file. We can actually do this with the move command because when we move something, it automatically changes its path and in the name of the file. And so let's say we want to rename test zero to test zero zero. Well, we can do this by doing move test zero dot text and test00.txt. Hit enter, and as you can see up here, and if you do ls, test0 has been renamed to test00. But why did this happen? Why does the move command automatically rename things? Well, that's because we changed the path. What does that mean? Well, to get to our test0 or our test00, you have to go through the home directory, the desktop, and then to the file. Well, when we did this command, we actually did move home slash desktop slash test zero zero and I'm just gonna put test zero zero because that's the file we have now and then the home slash desktop test zero dot text and so this command will actually rename the file back to what it used to be and the reason we didn't need this before is because we're actually in our home desktop already and so it's kind of assumed that those are the files we're messing with. But with the path directory right now, it's much easier to see where you are, what you're doing, what files you're actually moving. Now, in some cases, it's actually necessary to write out the entire path because you're not in that path already. Yeah, we're in our desktop now, but if we want to move something to a different folder that's not in our desktop and that's not in our path, well, we'd have to write out the home slash and then whatever folder we're moving it into so the reason this whole renaming thing works is because when we move a file, we change its path and in turn file name. And so if I hit enter, this will work and we do ls, the file has been renamed back to test0. So it was kind of annoying moving both the test0 and test1 to the desktop individually, meaning we had to do move test0, then the destination, and then move test1, the destination. Well, we can actually move both of them at once using a special version of the move command. We can move them both to a folder called local inside our home directory. So how do we do this? Well, we do the move keyword and then we can do the home slash desktop stuff, but we don't need to. And instead of writing the file name, we do asterisk.txt, which is the type of file we want to move. And then now the new location, which in this case will be the home slash local. And then we'll do ls, and notice those files are gone. Are they in local? Well, we can do cd back, then go into our local folder, do ls, and 
here are the two files. Now let's make a directory for them. So we'll do make directory testers and we'll move them both into there by just doing the move asterisk.txt and then into testers. And I didn't need any of this path stuff because we're already here and we're doing it kind of locally in this folder. Now that we've talked about moving things, now let's say we want to remove things. We can actually remove things by doing the keyword rm and then the file name or whatever we want to remove. And so to do this, we'll clear this up and we'll cd into testers, which is the directory we just created. And then let's say we want to remove test0.txt. Well, we can just remove the file by doing that and enter. Do ls. And now we only have test1. Now, let's say we want to remove the entire directory. We don't just want to remove the folder, but we want to remove the folder and everything that's in it. Well, we can go back by doing cd dot dot, and then we can remove it by doing rm dash r, and then the name of the folder. So in this case, it's testers. Hit enter, and now it's gone. The reason we had to do the dash r option is because we wanted to not only remove the folder testers, but we wanted to remove everything that's in it first, and then the folder. And so we do that recursively, which basically means we delete all the contents before the actual bigger entity. So that's it for moving and removing things. Basically, you can remove things by file or by directory, and you can move things by file, file type, or you can actually rename them using the move command. I hope you like this video. Bye-bye.